All right, so when you first look at this question, you might look at it and say it's impossible, but it's actually quite easy. So we have the question, if two to the x is equal to five, what is eight to the two thirds x plus one third? So what most of you guys might try to do is you guys might try to solve for x, which is possible, but then x is gonna give you some random number that you guys probably can't figure out without a calculator. So let me show you how to do it without a calculator. So this question requires you to know some exponential rules. So what are those rules? Basically, let's start with the basics. So rule number one, x to the a times x to the b. When you're multiplying exponents with the same base, aka x, which is our base, a and b are exponents, that's equal to the same base a, I mean x, to the a plus b. So all you have to do is add the bases when you're multiplying them. Rule number two, x to the a divided by x to the b. What do you think that's equal to? That's going to be equal to x to the a minus b. When you're dividing exponents with the same base, you subtract their exponents. Third rule, x to the a to the b. This is equal to x to the a times b. So when you remember these three rules, you should be set. So let's start solving. 2 to the x is equal to 5. So look, we have base 8, right? What's the relationship between this and base 2? We know that 2 to the third is equal to 8, right? 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Now, what do we do from here? So let's rewrite this 8 to the 2 thirds plus 1 thirds in terms of 2. So this right here is equal to 2 to the third 8 to this power, which is 2 thirds x plus 1 thirds. And now let's multiply out 3 times 2 thirds x plus 1 third. So this simplifies to what? This simplifies to 2, 3 times 2 thirds x is equal to just 2x plus 1 third times 3, which is just equal to 1. So this is equal to 2 to the 2x plus 1. Now let's rewrite this using our third rule, which is this right here. Actually, this isn't the third rule. What rule do you think this is? We're going to rewrite it using the first rule. So how can we use this? So instead of going from x to the a times x to the b, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to decompress this into this. So 2 to the 2x plus 1. So you go to 2 to the 2x times 2 to the first. Right? When you multiply x to the same base, you add them. So that's why these two are equal. And now let's break it down even further. Let's break down 2 to the 2x. This is equal to 2 to the x times 2 to the x times 2 to the first. So 2 to the 2x, x plus x is 2x, so we have the same base of 2, and that's it. So what's the value of 2 to the x? 2 to the x, given by our question, is equal to 5. So this is equal to 5 times 5 times, what's 2 to the first? That's equal to 2. 5 times 5 times 2 gives us a solution of 50, meaning that right there is going to be your answer. So let's look back at our steps, and let's break it down again, in case you didn't understand. So basically, what we did was that we rewrote our answer, 8 to 2 thirds x plus 1 third, in terms of base 2, because that's what our question gives us. So when you break that down, 2 to the third is equal to 8, 2 to the third, 8 to the 2 thirds x plus 1 third, which is what the question is asking for. And then we simplified by multiplying 3 with what's inside the exponents, giving us 2 to the 2x plus 1. Now we broke down 2 to the 2x plus 1 by using our first rule. So in this case, we didn't use rule number two because we didn't have any division. But in case we did, it's a good rule to remember. So what we did was that we broke down every single step. And by doing so, we ended up with two to the x times two to the x times two to the first, which is equal to two to the two x plus one. And we substitute our values, which were given. Two to the x was equal to five. So it's five times five times two, giving us a solution of 50. So if you have any questions or any questions, that you find challenging, leave it in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.